Hi there, Chris from Totally EV, and here we're doing a dedicated audio review of the Genesis GV70, more specifically the electrified GV70, and therefore is a fully electric SUV. If you want a detailed review of the vehicle itself, do check it up on your pop banner down in the description below, or indeed in the pinned comments. Now, in terms of its audio configuration, as standard, you've got a nine speaker setup. You have got drivers found within each of the four doors, tweeters at the front, a center speaker, and then woofers found within each of the front seats. Now, if you do want to bolster the experience and take the tally up to 15 in the fully electric model or 16 in the ICE based model, you'll want to go for the 990 pound Lexicon audio upgrade. This will give you a total output of 1050 watts. Now, to be more specific of this audio configuration that I have on review, you have got three audio drivers found within each of the front doors, mid-range, roofer, and treble. Then towards the center speaker, you have got a tweeter and also a mid-range driver. Then towards the center, you have got a free-flowing 250 millimeter subwoofer, and this therefore translates to two woofer drivers found within each of the front doors on the IC model, so therefore why you've got the difference between 15 and 16. Then towards the rear of the cabin, you have got mid-range and tweeter drivers found within each of the rear doors, and then you've also got rear parcel shelf speakers. So frankly, over here, you're getting a massive audio upgrade for a very small premium. Now for you to actually customize the audio drivers to your heart's content, you might want to navigate to the infotainment system. And here you'll find a treble, mid-range and bass adjustment. I've added four notches to treble, one notch to mid-range and taken two notches off bass. It is a shame, however, that there's no dedicated subwoofer controls or indeed a multi-band EQ, which would have certainly been appreciated. Aside from this, you might actually want to disable the active sound design. This effectively gives you a little bit of an odd sound. In other words, let's say an EV sound or an engine emulation sound that can be portrayed within the cabin via the speakers. Not something I actually like doing and I'd rather have the quiet, serene cabin of the GV70. Speaking of which, the in-cabin measurements will be on your screen right now. What I'll say subjectively is actually it does a phenomenal job even at higher speeds. And therefore the acoustic insulation and also the windscreen which has been treated provides you a really good cabin experience and therefore competes with some of the best out there on the market. Surpassing the likes of for example the Tesla Model Y and somewhat on par with the likes of the Jaguar I-Pace or the BMW iX3. Now with all of that in mind, let's get on to a brief audio demo. I'll be placing the camera and microphone in four separate locations and playing back a track. It's from Priya J and it's titled Like Me. Now, I appreciate an audio demo over YouTube is never ideal, so let me get onto my subjective opinion. Now, first off, in terms of the sub bass extension, it can certainly be felt and heard thanks to the free air subwoofer that's positioned towards the middle of the cabin. However, in comparison to audio systems that have a dedicated subwoofer unit at the boot, for example, the ones of the Harman Kardon audio system found within the BMW iX3, the Lexicon audio system really cannot compete. It won't give you that pronounced low end extension and that rumble that some people will crave. Equally, the precision and quality in the mid-bass tones is really lacking. Both at the front and rear of the cabin, you'll just feel that it's a little bit wobbly and uncontrolled. As a result, means that if you're comparing it to some of the other premium audio systems, such as from the likes of BMW or even the Tesla Model Y, it really does not stand any sort of chance. 
Now, thankfully, the mid-range actually does a decent job, which is often a weak point for a lot of systems out there that have a little bit more of that overzealous mid-bass impact. Thankfully here, you can EQ it to a certain degree, and therefore vocal tracks such as the ones from Priya J will actually come out pretty well, both at the front and the rear of the cabin, specifically due to the fact that you've got those dedicated mid-range drivers. Now, as for the highs, they extend particularly well, specifically at the front of the cabin due to the addition of the dedicated tweeters found within the doors and also within the center speaker. Equally at the rear, you'll get a good sort of toe tapping feeling as well and therefore won't make you feel that you're left out from sitting at the front. So you don't have to shotgun of sitting at the front seat in order to get a decent audio experience. Now equally, the overall soundstage and instrument separation are done pretty well, and that is in part due to the fact that you've got those wide dispersion speakers found at the rear of the cabin, adding to the overall dynamism. Better still, the overall audio drivers are separated, in other words, you've got dedicated mid-range, high-end, and also low-end frequency drivers, and therefore means that the overall sound, be it at the front or rear of the cabin, will feel lively, engaging, and also very good. Ultimately, what I'm trying to convey over here is that if you're umming and ahhing about the Lexicon Audio Upgrade, I think you should just go out and get it. At least if you're splashing a lot of money on the GV70, it's a worthwhile consideration. As a result of this, it gets our Performance Award. Now, it's worth considering that if you want a better audio experience and you're considering fully electric SUVs, you might want to look at the Tesla Model Y, the Volvo XC40 or C40 Recharge, and the BMW iX3 all of which do a fantastic job across the sound frequency range and also excel in certain departments. Dedicated audio reviews of these vehicles will be down in the description below for your own consideration. Now, I'd be curious to know what you make of the GV70's audio system, be it in terms of the stock or the Lexicon audio upgrade, down in the comments section below. Now, if you've liked this dedicated audio review and want to see more, definitely do consider dropping a like, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification, all of which would be greatly appreciated. As such, I've been Chris from Totally EV, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.